10 year treasury yields end the session much lower. A lot going on today, but not much happening early in the session. We saw 10 year treasury yields trade about a six basis point range ahead of today's FOMC meeting. Uh, it, coming into the meeting, it seemed like the Fed was, uh, market was gearing up for some kind of a move higher or lower. After the FOMC meeting, we saw the Fed raise 25 basis points. They alluded to future rate hikes down the road. Likewise, they continue to want to fight inflation while maintaining some economic stability. Well, after the Fed raised rates and after the Fed chair spoke, we saw Treasury yields make one big move and it was lower. We saw them trade all the way down to 340, so doubling the size of the daily range. Likewise, we got as low as we have since January 19th, and that's when we got all the way down to 330. So 10 year note Treasury yields, after seeing a very quiet morning prior to the Fed, see a big move lower in yields after. Now, what does this have, how does this affect volatility? Well, if you check out that CBOL index over at cmegroup.com, You'll notice that volatility has been trending lower and it has been doing it for quite some time. You go all the way back to September of last year to see when things really started to turn south for volatility and they continue to do so. As yields move lower, we have seen volatility move lower. After we got past the big Fed event, we see volatility move lower and that was the case today. So falls continue to move lower uh, despite the fact that there's a lot of uncertainty out there and a non-farm payroll number on Friday. Uh, last, let's talk about what we do have later this week. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, which means we have our claims number, our in-the-moment look at the job market. That number is expected to come in just below 200,000, something the Fed would like to see more of. Likewise, on Friday, as I previously mentioned, it is non-farm payroll Friday. Payrolls are expected to come in slightly weaker than they did last month. And after today's ADP number came in a little bit weaker, that looks like to be par for the course. Also, if you look ahead on your calendar next Tuesday, you'll hear again from the Fed chairman as he is speaking from the Economic Club in D.C. He'll be talking about the economy, maybe talking about some of the actions of the markets since today's Fed rate hike and subsequent move lower in Treasury yield. So midweek in FOMC Wednesday, we see 10-year note Treasury yields open slow and sleepy, but end the session moving much lower down to, down to about 340 and below ahead of tomorrow's claims number and Friday's non-farm payroll.